Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Vita Luca, and we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be reviewing a video game, and it's called Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. So I have played uh, Harvest Moon, more Friends of Mineral Town, quite religiously as a child. Like, I used to play it a lot. And, yeah... I don't even know when I was playing it. It was around the ages of 7 to 10, around there, that I would play it quite a bit on my Game Boy. And I'm always someone who likes to play old school games. I first started off at like 4, 5, or 6 on Harvest Moon 64 on the Nintendo 64. And I loved that game. And I still love that game today. And so Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town and more Friends of Mineral Town, kind of recycles the same characters that were once in um, Harvest Moon 64 and gives them new um, relationships and potential love interests than they did then. And so with this game, they've managed to keep a lot of actually the same. There are some differences where they got different characters and they added in characters like Jennifer and Brandon but then they also just completely changed the way that characters looked um kind of like Jeff Jeff was like the main one that stood out to me and I noticed that they also kind of changed some of their names like Juan is now Huang and I want to do like a side-by-side -side comparison as well because I do still have more Friends of Mineral Town on my Game Boy, and so I would like to do like a side-by-side -side comparison of how the town is set up and everything so that, you know, you can see how it used to be and how it is and what the graphics used to be like and that kind of thing. And so some things that I really liked about this game is I really liked the graphics. I think they did a really great job with how everything looks. I think it's very anesthetically pleasing. I think it's a lot better looking than the Game Boy version itself. Of course, graphics have advanced since the Game Boy. And yeah, so I think they did a really good job with that. I really liked how you can pick between two girls and two boys to start it off. You don't have to buy like a separate game like you did back then where you had Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town and that was, you mainly played as, you only played as a boy and you had more Friends of Mineral Town where you played only as a girl. And then you could only have your love interests from there. So I really do like the fact that you can mix it up and play as either gender and you got a second option that wasn't there in more friends and friends of mineral town for harvest moon and yeah they did have to end up changing the name due to some licensing issues because natsume owns harvest moon i guess even though they still come out with things like light of hope which i also want to do another review on though i haven't played it because i've been stuck playing this one i've played this one for more than 90 hours i love it so much I'm currently on year four within this time. This game, it's pretty. I, I think it's really good. There's some things that I have issues with, and we'll get to them. But for the most part, I think it has been extremely well done, and I do really enjoy playing it. Yeah, I also think that it's pretty accurate to, um, to the original games. They do have some differences with characters... And the map itself, they added in a little park area, which I actually really like. I didn't even know it existed because, you know, it wasn't in the original game. And so I was, like, missing out on gathering lumber and stones from there and flowers and fishing there because I didn't know it existed. I just thought, oh, it's just a broken piece and the game is fine, whatever. No, they added it, and I actually really like that they did. And I do also like that they added the additional characters. I ended up marrying Brandon in this game. I really... I don't know. I was going to go for Cliff, but I went for Cliff and more Friends of Mineral Town. And I also went for the Doctor in another game that I accidentally overwrote because, well, I was a stupid kid. And I got so far, had a baby with the Doctor, 
And I, my game was probably the best I've ever played for a Harvest Moon one because I was actually at an age to understand what I'm supposed to be doing. And yeah, threw it all away because I saved over with a new game. So there are some things that I don't fully know because I can't remember that far back. And we'll get to those. Um, but I do like how they added the additional characters. And I like how they revamped the characters. I like how they made... Um, I like how they made Jeff. I think he looks more like Karen's father in this game than he did in More Friends and Friends of Mineral Town. Because he, if you've ever played Harvest Moon 64, he was the baker. Black hair, brown eyes, baker. And yet, with a blonde-haired woman, he can have a blonde-haired child. That typically doesn't happen. And, like, she looks nothing like him at all. And so... They kind of made him a little bit different. And they did give some different names to people as well. And changed some spellings. But, you know, that's that's fine. You you can make it what you want to make it. That's fine. Like, they changed Anne to Ran. It might be popular in Asia. I don't know. But I just liked how previously it made more sense to a North American market. Where they had more regular names. Like, they changed Eli to Ellie. Which, I guess... But it would have been cuter if they just added an E to Eli instead of a Y. Because Ellie with a Y, it just looks weird. And I'm pretty sure they changed her brother's name. I think he used to be named Stu. But I, again, I don't remember. And I meant to look back and I forgot to actually look that up. So here we are. I really actually also like that they added additional animals because... I love rabbits, and I'm so glad that I got to have rabbits, and I could have a rabbit farm in this game, and I'm so happy with that. And you could have brown chickens, and you can have colorful cows, and then you could have alpacas. I really, really, really like the fact that we got new animals, and I love when Harvest Moon gives you new animals. Like when Tree of Tranquility gave you ostriches, that was cool. It's not something we had. Oh, and silkworms. Just the things that we never had before, we finally get. And I enjoy that. I love it when they give us new animals. They gave us new pets. You could have penguins. You could have dogs. You could have cats. You could have a capybara. Like, they gave you so many options. And then, there were multiples of these options. You could get different kinds of cats. You could get two different colors of penguins. Two different colors of capybaras. Two, like, multiple types of dogs. I still need to get a dog in my game because I just haven't landed on Van at that time to get a dog yet. So I'm so excited for all of this. Like, that was great. They did a great job there. I think they did really, really well on this game, and I hope that they continue because Story of Seasons was never really doing it for me. I always loved Harvest Moon, but I'm trying to collect them all anyways. Like, they're Pokemons. Like... That's my goal, is to eventually get them all. Though, that's being proven to be a lot harder than it actually is and always has been. Um, let's move on to things that I don't like. Because I've touched on a lot of the things that I do like, and some things will come up within this as well. So, one thing that I don't really like is winter is extremely boring. It's so boring. You can't get a greenhouse. Now, it's not like you could in the other game either. Like, really, you couldn't. But winter has been a very boring season in most Harvest Moon games. And I really liked it in Harvest Moon 64 when you could have gotten a greenhouse. So then you can still plant crops and everything. Now, time doesn't pass. So it's not that great. It's still kind of boring. But it would have been nice if we could have continued to do the same. And so winter... You can't plant crops. You got your animals. Time doesn't pass in the barns. You get the mines open. Well, the spring mine's always open, but then you could go to the lake mine. But then again, time rarely passes within it. It passes extremely slowly. Like to get down to all the way to the bottom takes three hours in game time. But it takes you like six hours in real life sometimes. If you don't have the elevator and you... you you were trying your best. Like, for me, the first time to get all the way down without an elevator because I was, you know, setting the floor levels for the elevator, oh, it was so hard. And that mine itself is so hard 
You want to try to get all the cap the kappa jewels. Oh, but guess what? They're a lot harder to find than the goddess jewels. Though also for me, I kind of just gave up on doing it once I got the teleportation stone and I could just go to the like mine whenever I wanted anyways. I just gave up on doing it because, well, I don't need something that fixes my fatigue. Like for me now, I have all the power berries. It doesn't really matter. And then I have the goddess jewel. So my stamina just keeps going back up. So it's like if I need to fix my fatigue, hop in a hot spring, take, go to the bathroom in the house. Heck, I had my fatigue go up fishing once. That was pretty amazing. Another big issue I found was that it was extremely hard to win any festivals in your first year. Now, yes, you could have built yourself a kitchen within that time frame, and maybe you could have won. But for me, my kitchen got built just shortly after the festival. So it was basically useless. And then you still have to get all the products to go in the kitchen. So my, you, I don't think it would be possible personally. I really don't. Then your cows, your sheeps, your chickens, your alpacas, your, they don't love you enough to win their festivals. You might have been able to win the chicken one, maybe, if you knew how to play. But your horse wasn't big enough for either of the horse races. You, I bet you did not have a pet by the first. It's not possible because you have to give um, stuff to the harvest goddess for 30 days to get van so you like the most the and then he comes on the first wednesday so you would have gotten van on like summer the first during like whenever that wednesday was like you would have gotten them in the summertime and well the pet festival or the frisbee festival whatever it's called was on the first so you most likely did not get that trophy at all either and then there's nothing else really competitive after that point on if it's not involving one of your pets or your animals so it's just basically the cooking festival and then all the stuff about your animals and then the other things are just for fun Mm -hmm. and just to show up so yeah that really really sucks and so and then the main thing And this thing almost made me stop playing the game. But now I'm like, no, I'm going to play the game the way that it wants to be played. But I, my values are like really on this and I find it to be a very touchy subject and I don't really like how the game wants you to do this. But it is the fact that you have to breed your animals in order to get them to like you more. Because with most Harvest Moon games, you would just buy your cows, your sheep, your chickens, and then over time, they will love you more and then they'll produce larger products. These ones, if you store by them, they will only love you up to five hearts. The maximum stuff that they will provide you is medium. They'll never provide you more than that. I played this game for three years, wondering why my products weren't getting bigger. Then I had to go on Google and found out that it's because of this. I have to constantly breed my animals. I don't really agree with that. Like, you can be a breeder, whatever, that's fine. It's your prerogative. I'll probably even buy from a breed or two. Like I bought my rabbits from pet stores because, well, at the time I didn't really know to adopt them anyways. And in Prague, I don't know where you go to adopt rabbits. Like that's just how it was back then. But like to teach you to do that in a video game, like, you know, it's fine with like chickens, cows, and sheeps because, you know, they're not... They're not something that's like stockpiling in in a shelter. But when it came to the rabbits, that really hurt me. I didn't like the f- idea of having to breed my rabbits. Because really, you should not be breeding rabbits. For multiple reasons. Just let other people do that. Like, really. And so, I had a huge issue with that. And I almost stopped playing the game. But then I was like, you know what? No, 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 no. We're going to play the game that it's intended to play. And we're going to see what happens. And so, it took me like a year to get my rabbits up to the 10 heart level. It took maybe like three months for the chickens. No, okay, the chickens were probably faster than that. But I'm still working on the cows and the sheeps and the alpacas. And I've passed the year now. So mm, it's, it's a lot of work to do it like this. 
And I'm like one away on the, I need to breed one more alpaca and one more cow just to get the 10 heart levels on both. And their breeding cycle is 21 days in game. So it's like a lot. But I, mm, that was like something that I really didn't like. I wanted to keep all my animals that I had and like had them f- and have them forever. Like they don't die in this game. They don't get sick. So why can't you just have them forever then? But no, they decided we're going to just make it harder and you have to breed them and whatnot. And I don't know. I don't like the idea. I find once you have a pet and it's your family, then it should just stay your family. That's how I see that too. I don't like the idea that you have to breed and then you sell so you can breed more. It's like recycling your animals. Animals are all less than one year old, so I don't think they were having each other, but they're all at 10 hearts. So you didn't have to do this whole thing. And I know your animals also got sick in that one. One thing that I really didn't like, and I don't know if it's like this in the game, I know that they do get repetitive, but because we're advancing in technology and everything, I was hoping that by this point, we could also advance on their chat bubbles and what they talked about because you know your person can be pregnant now or their wife is pregnant or their husband's pregnant because this game I forgot about that oh my gosh I can't believe I left that up this game allows you to marry both genders and not call it a a special friend or a best friend but it allows you to marry both genders. It allows you to marry other people like the Harvest Goddess Kappa, um, Bon Vivant, Huang. You can marry so many people in this game. And they don't care about your gender. So that's also a great pointer. I wasn't sure who I was going to marry at all. And for the first year, I didn't even bother to pursue anybody until about that winterish, when Cliff kind of had a thing for me. And... Well, I guess more like fall. I pursued them in fall because Cliff started to get in a thing for me. And then I found out Brandon will accept wood. Though he loves oranges. So once I started giving him oranges, he was like, bam, ready to get married. I mean, just like that. So that's why I ended up marrying Brandon because I was like, oh, dang, you really love oranges. Well, that's easy. I just bought an orange tree. But yeah, I found all of this really interesting. Um, but that is something that's super cool. And you'll still end up getting to have a kid and whatnot. The Harvest Goddess will gift you with a child. I think that's amazing. I like how they're getting progressive. But I was hoping they could do the same thing with the chat bubbles. Like, you can start being in a relationship with someone. It would be nice if the townsfolk will talk in on that, you know? Like, oh, how is this person doing? Da 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 da. You just got married. How's married life? Things like that. Some people will touch on the marriage. Others won't. And same when you're pregnant. I wish they would. I wish you could go. Like because Gots was so close to Brandon. I wish we could have went and told Gots. And he would talk about the pregnancy and the marriage. But he never did. And also one of the goals that you have to unlock in this game. Is to actually be in a relationship with everybody. At the same time successfully. Like you give them the preserved flower. To all the marriage candidates. I wish. I don't know if there is. Because that wasn't how I was going to be playing this game. I found that out after. And I was like oh. Maybe I should have done it that way. But I already ended up getting married. So I'm like well too late now. Um, But I don't know if they'll talk about it. But I really hope they do talk about you getting in a relationship with other people. When you're dating them. I would hope. I so hope they would address that. But I don't know if they do. Because that's just not how I was playing. But those are like the things that I've noticed. And I've been playing this game for a while. And I still do quite enjoy it. It's just the, like the animal thing that really really got to me. When I found out that that's how I was supposed to play this game. Um, but otherwise I still enjoy it. I don't even. Like I have Harvest Moon A Light of Hope. And I would like to do a video like this for that as well. But... I just haven't even bothered with it yet because I'm still enjoying this game so much and I still have so much left to do. Like I've only done 19 achievements out of the 35. The one for sure would not be getting done, which is the dating everybody successfully thing. So I still want to see how far I can get in this game before I move on. And I did end up filming a lot of my footage and like you're seeing it. Like that's my actual footage. 
And so I do kind of want to make like little guides on like cheat ways and how to do stuff, how to get money, how to do mining. So if that's something you want to see, please do let me know because this is like the first gaming video I've ever done. So bear with me on this. It may not be the best. I'm hoping it'll at least be decent. I would really like to get more into this and get it going. And I want to also do like a side-by-side -side comparison as well of gameplay so that you can see the differences within what they've done and everything like that as well between the two because my Game Boy version still work. I hope you enjoyed this and again, do let me know. I'm looking for what to do for my content that's not where I live related. I hope I can see you in the next video. Bye! I'm gonna just have YouTube recommend you the best video for yourself to watch after this one because I don't have anything else that's like this. So, 